we will look at noun countability and how this impacts on other aspects of grammar in the sentence. One thing we need to know about nouns in English is whether we can count them or not. Some nouns are countable, some uncountable, and some nouns can be both. So let's start with what you know. Countable nouns refer to things that can be counted, such as books, or chairs, or people, and they have both singular and plural forms. For countable nouns, we can answer the question, how many, with a number. How many courses are you taking this semester? I'm taking four courses. Most nouns in English are countable. Uncountable nouns often refer to abstract concepts, such as love, wealth, music and hunger. Uncountable nouns also refer to things that are made up of parts too numerous or small to count. Academic examples of uncountable nouns include knowledge, information and evidence. Everyday examples are water, rice, coffee, air, oil and music. Uncountable nouns do not have a plural form. For example, we say information but not informations. Uncountable nouns thus take the singular form of the verb. Different quantifiers are used with countable and uncountable nouns. For countable nouns, you can use no, none, few, a few, some, many, most, a lot of, all. For uncountable nouns, you can use no, none, not much, little, a little, some, a lot of, all. Notice the difference. Few is used with countable, but little is used for uncountables. For example, we conducted a few experiments, but there is little experimentation in this area. There are many other quantifiers in English that you can use, so be sure to check a good grammar book. Countability is also important for determining which article, a, an, or the, can be used with a noun. For example, you generally would not use the articles a or an with an uncountable noun. Review the section on articles for more information about article usage and countability. One last thing to be aware of. Some nouns can be both countable or uncountable, depending on their use. Examples include chocolate, paper, light, work, and hair. Countability often depends on the context. For example, hair, referring to all the hair on your head, is uncountable. However, hair, referring to a single strand of hair, is countable. If you're uncertain of the countability of a particular noun, check in the dictionary. It might have C or UNC to show this. Knowing the countability of a noun is important for subject-verb agreement and also to know the quantifiers and articles that the noun can be used with. Review the exercises below as well as the exercises on subject-verb agreement and articles.